I, I imagine this is, this is like dinner entertainment, dinner theater. <laughs> right. All right, so we're looking at a game of Jeff's. And you don't know your opponent, that's right. Just a random KGS game, hence why I'm holding the laptop. I know I lost to him before, though. You lost, oh, you see, this is the second game. Cool. What's and, his name, do you know? Uh, Jeff is J-Mart and playing Incombi. In in Incombi. Incombi? In okay. in yeah. Not sure. Okay. Uh, Jeff is white, okay. so his opponent opens 5-3, his opponent's crazy! <laughs> we haven't seen a lot of this move, we're going to talk about it more eventually, but we'll cover some basic concepts today in this game, I'm sure. So Jeff plays pretty normal, we've been doing all these 4 4 just a second, so Jeff, trying to use some of that knowledge. It's good, hey Millie. This move's a little, uh, I'll leave it alone. It's a little unusual, but it's okay. This time. Alright, and then you take the other 4-4. Four, four. And then black plays a big shamari, big corner enclosure. Mm. So we have this cross game, right? Lots of things going on. In this type of game, it's about fighting and making territory. Large frameworks are probably not going to happen. So just take your ter territory and fight it. That doesn't stop Jeff though. Jeff decides he wants to make major framework, so he's going to try building a big one over here, right? Fourth line. What's the difference between this and this? Fourth line and third line? Fourth is kind of leaning towards the center more. Yeah, kind of what more influence, hopefully. Yeah, looking more for influence. You're hoping for something bigger. This is more territorial. Um, for me, I would play this one here. And again, a couple weeks ago, we talked about those turtle shells, right? You want to. You know, use that shell into your opponent's territory. You want to have the fat part of your turtle where he isn't, and then you know have it slant down usually into your opponent's territory. So I would more naturally play this. This one is okay. I can't really criticize it. Um, however, it makes Black's job playing against this really easy because all Black has to do is now play a move like this, and now Black's gaining more territory, and now has undercut your base. And if you still are, you, if you're still interested in this, you have to play another move. Well, you don't want to kind of move. You could just play it to begin with, right? You could just done that. Well... I'm, I'm not saying... I mean, I'm play originally I thought that that was, would have been my move, except that it's one, now I realize he's on the 4-4 four, four point over there. But, but, uh... But I don't think he has to play another move. It's the open. It's the open. It's still doing work. It's the open. It's still doing work. I, I agree. <laughs> still doing work. However, here, what I'm trying to teach them, right, these are all, you know, double I know, I know, I know. White corner, black corner, territory in the middle. Third line. Don't try to necessarily think you can get everything. But, sure. Being a little experiment. Uh, black decides that black wants to reduce you on a big, grand scale. Maybe try to build some of his own outside influence, apparently. So black's going to have high approach. We didn't talk about this move. Of all the 4-4 four, four Joseki, we didn't really talk about this one. And I, it, according to this game, it seems like we should have, because <laughs> Jeff just goes after this thing. Uh, first of all, let me show you the two most normal responses when you have 4-4 four, four stone and black approaches. First response, which probably shouldn't surprise anyone. Right, we saw this is the same move with black approaches here, right? You can also just play this. Just Make this nice solid link up, powerful over here, very normal. The second opportunity, or second most common move for, you, for someone to do here, is just to attach like this. And this is just empty. After it gets pulled out, looks like that. Also pretty good for white, giving black some thickness. Um, the points in the territory, are, if you get them all, it looks actually really big. It's not guaranteed that white gets all this. There's actually still quite a bit of audio in here. Uh, but for right now, that'd be a good result. So Jeff doesn't do either of these, because we didn't teach him this. So it's on, we can blame this one on me. So you perceive this as a threat that needs to die. So you go after it like this. My, my thinking was, you probably end up getting some of the corners, but I could eventually use that other star corner. So yeah, you're thinking, hey, I can build this wall here. Mm -hmm. I would say this this is almost okay to think, especially if this is your corner. 
Right. If you can make a really big box, okay. then this is worth this is worth considering. Okay. It's not on on normal move, but it's worth considering, especially if this is our corner. But this being Black's corner, we're going to give up too many points over here, and we're not going to be able to get enough in this region. So Black does this, which. I think black should kind of want at least on the outside just to make sure black has some outward influence and then perhaps jump in the corner. So jump in the corner right away, that's okay. Uh, well, I mean, if, 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 white's, if white's trying to build this, the game's over. I think it's still a game. I mean, this is, this is good shape for white, but you know, black has three corners, so. Uh, white doesn't go after that stone this way, though. You can after the stone this way, which locally is, is actually a good move, except it doesn't put any real pressure on the stone. And black comes out right here. If I were playing, I'd probably play there as black. Just settle, just try to make a base, right? White can't cut you. White can't do anything. You just push, right? Still connected, nothing. So again, if I were black, again, I wouldn't be pushing up against this wrong group here. I would try to just settle more quickly and easily. You have a harder time making points over here now. And uh, this stone's injured severely, but still has some Aji left too. So luckily for us, black plays here. And uh, white plays here. Black plays a couple, I don't know, black, whatever black was drinking, it was good and strong. <laughs> Black comes down again, which is a little overly defensive. Uh, it seems to me if black wants to come this way, we can play that same knight's jump move that we could play. We could have played that way. Black can play the same thing over here. Look how much bigger that corner is. White can't push and cut. So this is a little bit timid. This is very slow. And in fact, uh, you play the point where you know he could have just jumped to immediately, right? And you just take it. So that's fine. The next move, black is still going crazy. What do you think black's trying to do here? Good guys. Did he the gosh. first long? Yeah, that was the move. How strong is he? This Where's is 9 cube. That must have been a misclick. <laughs> I'm not convinced. <laughs> I think he's trying, he's so, because this move is so defensive, he's trying to find eyes, right? And he's, On the first long? Until they came to you. Well, you know, in the corner, like, that's a good eye space, right? That makes eyes. It's not cute. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What was the time limit for this game, Jeff? I forget. I, I think it keeps track of it on there. We, we have plenty of time to do You. Looks like, uh, 15 sec five minutes main time, 15 seconds move, so pseudo blitz pretty fast. Okay. Anyway, he plays this, and uh, you play a knight's move. This is okay. I mean, this is, I'm trying to show you guys these knight's moves. These make nice jumping shapes. I think it's stronger just to poke black right in the move that he should have played. Uh, notice this stone right now only has three liberties. Right? If black were to get an extra move, I would short it to two and put that stone into trouble. This helps out this shape tremendously and makes this move look really bad. Because now this stone only has two liberties and it is in trouble. So I think you just come there first right away and nice, easy, slow, painful death for black happens. Uh, black is still thinking, I need to make eyes. <laughs> yeah. Jeff, you still should do this. <laughs> <laughs> It's like very difficult. What did you actually do? You Tanuki. Okay. Oh, go finish this. Finish the shape. <laughs> Make him suffer. He still has a problem with life. Okay. I think he's alive, but only by one liberty. I want to try playing it out and see what Black can do. Let's assume Black blocks there. Looks like that. Is the necessary move, poke out the eye. Black. Oh, black play that first. I think black can play that first, right? Oh, this clamp. 
Well, maybe not. Uh, that doesn't have bubbles. Oh, it's got a thing. It's got that yeah, one it's got this stone. one stone becomes really useful again. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this thing is just barely alive because this stone isn't completely dead yet. Black and clamp and get out, but it's even though I'm still not 100% sure that white still doesn't have a trick. Um, but if black plays here, actually white can just make white can just play that. That looks sad. All right, black plays it already over here. If you play this, this is the problem actually. Uh, not a problem? Not a problem. Not a problem? Not a problem. No problem. Why isn't that last one a problem? Yeah. Oh. Well, it's still, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit of a problem. But it's... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Play on, on two, one point. Here? Uh, oh, I'm from space. Ah, uh, okay, now we take. Now we take. Two uh, stones. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. Yeah. Yeah, it's flex life. It is a problem. Nice job, Dan. He's a fat stone. But it's so close to dying. <laughs> <laughs> you can certainly, if you don't want to go for the kill, you can certainly seal him in and send him a really strong thickness out of this. Alright. Anyway, this is where we are. And what Jeff Ricky. So again, the same thing over here, 4-4. Four, four. Again, in a cross game like this, I would play more territorial. I mean, it's a minor detail, certainly. If you're stronger, you can play fourth and make it influence fighting game in the middle. But my advice to you guys when you're in these, sort of no one can make anything really big, just play third line, take points. You have a much easier game. All right. Oh, black plays really, oops, that's there. Black plays a really interesting move. That's no good. We've seen this shape before. This shape is a lot like this shape, only worth less points. So it's a little, we call this over concentration. Why it's over concentrated? Gee, it looks like a one space extension. On a 3 3 stone? Yeah, I mean, this was here, we can play this here now. No, you at least play that one, right? You guys all want to make a two space extension now, right? So you at least play it out. When we play a stone here, this is a little too small, too cramped. And uh, remember, white is trying to develop the outside here. Oh dear, what do I do? Oh, other things happen. Okay. White, white's been wanting this, these outside moves the whole game, right? So when black's playing low like this, black's kind of seeding that to white. And uh, to some degree, that's going to help you. Alright, then, play another one. Sure, got a little framework going on over here. We've got another, some other high stones. Sure. Should might I even be a little out? bit too close to this. Yeah. Might even be too strong over here. I want to put it up a little bit further, but again, with this shape, it's hard to know. I don't see the shape ever. <laughs> I'd have to think about this more before I know where I want to put this stone. Um, Large part of me wants to play that here. Play that move. That's also big. I don't want to. You don't want to. Well, black to extend off of one stump and call the shaman. This, yeah. You don't want that, right? So I think so. so yeah. So you got to make an extension of some sort. Yeah. I think this is too close to you, though. I think you need to. You can kick it out further. Okay. There or there. And again, third line, right? Dig in. Dig in. And black decides that this stone is not dead. <laughs> and very useful. The stone is going to be, is going to live valiantly. Uh, did this right? Yeah. At which point Jeff realizes, no, that's not going anywhere. And black now starts to worry about this corner shape you looked at before. He plays that move. You could have that for free before you played it. It's still a bad exchange for black. I mean, this is helping you 
quite a bit, but it could have been even better had you put it. Well, I get fewer points. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Trying to crawl around and just live, I think. So you play there. Well, and Black plays one more move. The question is, does Black need this move? Black thinks he's out of eyes. Guy's not nine Q. Black's not nine Q. When was the last time you played a nine Q? I was a nine Q once. You were not. Well, I'm a nine Q. Yeah. yeah. What do you think? And black does not look to be my strength. Black looks weaker. Yeah. You probably had different times. It was three in the morning for him. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, whatever he's drinking is good stuff. <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, that's what he played. He decided he needed to make life. You see, one of these guys who has an alternate identity when he's drinking and when he's not drinking. Maybe. <laughs> that's a KGS game, right? <laughs> right. So, yeah, must be. All right, so anyway, uh, White, you decide to play this and just really clamp down on those two stones. I, again, I would say this move is a little over concentrated for you. If you, but I, I actually think the spirit of it is very good, in the sense that you smell the aji here, and you want to make everything solid, have no problems, make this easy to develop, this easy to develop, this easy to develop, have no problems. Sure. Um, I just don't. I think it's over concentrated. I, don't, I think you could play something even more aggressive, like that. Or now come back over here and do this. Uh, this is also pretty big. This or this. Lots of big moves over here. So it depends on how worried you are about fighting here. Because you have all the thickness, you'd love to fight. You'd love to chase something, some crappy group of stones all around the board. I just make your day. So, but it's okay. Black comes over and approaches down here. And uh, you play a move next I don't really like. So this move, y'all know this, right? From a few weeks ago. What are our options? Nice move, so the mirror. Good, there's a move. One up from there. Good, there's a move, jump. There's a move. Right. And because you've got that stone on the uh, star point, there's the diagonal. That's right, attachment. there's this kick right here. We talked about this, was it last week or two weeks ago? I can't remember. We talked about special <laughs> gets through. If you already have a stone here, this one's often a really good move. Uh, in general, when we have a stone here, but we don't like this one. Why don't we like this one? Overconquered? Yeah, it's overconquered. This feels redundant, right? This stone is already attacking this stone. I know it's attacking more of a distance, but now it's like we're pushing closer to our opponent. It's like in these bad horror films where you see the evil person set up like the, the, the saw and it inches closer and closer to the hero, <laughs> right? Until eventually the hero frees himself and then flies away, right? But if you just took the buzz saw and just went <laughs> right here, we'll be dead and we'll be over. <laughs> right? This is this is the buzz saw that horror movie thing. Wait, I played it? <clears throat> hmm? I played that? Oh, no. Oh, alright. You played this. Uh -huh. What don't I like about this one? You can tell me what I'm not gonna like about that one. Let's so flat uh, if, yeah, if we play out the Joseki as we learned it, right, Black will get Sente out of this. What else would Black get? And normal, pretend the scenario isn't here. What else do we expect Black to get in this version of the Joseki? Life. Life. Easy and solid, like solid base over here. What will White get? Influence in the directions. So it's not all that easy. Yeah, we'll get the corner, but we'll also get influence in this direction. Why is influence in this direction not so great? So we got the corner. Yeah, Black's already stepping into this side of the board over here. We don't want influence in this direction. So, this is no good. If, uh, you know, it's, this is strange though, with this corner over here, <laughs> and this being on the fourth line in the middle of these two corners, I'd probably play something a little more relaxed. I'd probably just do that, wait to see what black does. You know, make yourself solid first and then worry about the outside. Uh, I think this is playable. You can go right after it and start a big fight, and you have the influence to do this. This is a little more risky though because if the flag gets stronger here, 
you know, you might be the one under attack. Now you're still stronger than black is, right? But it's a fight that you have to think about. Uh, and uh, oops. this one said was already over concentrated, right? So again, I'm looking at this one or this one. And again, my, my preference on this side would be for the low one. Again, because black already has this corner, I'm not trying to develop something really big over here. Uh, I'll play nice and low because if black comes in the corner, this stone will actually help me make a base over here later on. As at some point, I'll just bail, just let black eat the corner and make a base easily. So that's why I'd like to play the low one. But Jeff doesn't. And black, for a second, knows something about Go. This is the first time it's happened. <laughs> Right, because that's the Joseki move. That's the move we all expected, right? And white plays Joseki, and black, lo and behold, plays more Joseki. <laughs> you must have pulled the book off the shelf. Black just woke up. Oh, now, no, 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 no longer. Now black pushes up again. This is not Joseki, but there are variations that do go like this. Uh, I don't think any of the variations that go like this. Well, I should say, I don't know them that well. There are, very, there are some complicated variations that go this way, like this, but usually it's the bad move for black. And however, Jeff fails to call him on it. Jeff makes it look like a genius move. <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. I got you. Because really, here's, here's black's problem. <coughs> so, why is that move bad? I mean, I, I know it's First of all, there's still a weakness. Things. And even though white has a weakness, white comes on top here. At some point, black, you know, is going to be forced into making this empty triangle to crawl out. And so this is going to result in that shape for black, basically. That's all. That's why we don't like to just push up here, because at some point, black has to make a mean, nasty, terrible empty triangle shape. So we don't like that for black uh, in order to get out. Uh, if white, however, plays the move that Jeff played in the game, black plays here, and now when white comes on top here, we don't have to crawl out slowly. We can actually jump away or do other fancier things, and we don't have that, that defect, that cut to worry about. Whereas if we do this, there's a cut here that's maybe not necessarily immediately playable, but black has to worry about this cut. This is a hard cut. As this played out, right now I think black's still okay, but it's hard. You want to kill the stone, right? If you come here, we then have to come here, right? Yes. Uh, then, white can Atari here. I'm not sure if my order is correct here, but let's just pretend that white can make all these exchanges. If we want to kill those two stones, we have to find another move. We'll get an additional Atari. Yeah, black's not, well, I guess black's more or less alive, but right now white's connected here, cut off the stone, white seal along the inside. There's, there's a big problem, right? White can get a lot of free moves because of that one defect. So that's just an example. But if we go back and we allow Jeff to play this one, That's it, you're done getting three moves. That was your one. This one, not the best free move in the world. I like hitting all the other ones much better. Uh, so, yeah, so then, after Black plays this, Jeff feels like this cut is a problem. We talked about this cut uh, quite a bit three weeks ago, right? That Black were to cut right now, what should White play? Well, what should white not play here? Let's start with that question. Uh, next to that, so many just Yeah, white should not play this one. Why should white not play this one? Because you can cut diagonally down. Yeah, this is just this is just death. Something is going to die. This is a horrible cut. We have one group of three liberties. We have one group of two liberties. This is all completely safe. All black has to do is worry about this one stone, and black will get to kill something. So if black does push right here, what should white do instead? Protect the stones on the bottom. That's right. Oh, you like eating two stones. Well, I'll feed you two stones. Don't eat the rest of me. 
black and white say, yes, I like the two stone. And you say, okay, don't the rest of me. This is good for boy. Because I'm nice. Down here, this is quite a few points. <coughs> looking very solid. Black up two stones. This is actually over concentrated. Right? First of all, there's still some odd you left in the stones. Not a lot, but a little. And second, you have a black just like to play one stone, capture that, and make an eye right there. And my black had to play two extra moves to not capture them, right? So here's what I'm saying to you, Jeff. Is right now you've made black so strong. Um, you know, this cut is probably. I mean, you should probably shouldn't worry about it. That being said, you play a decent move. Right? This is a nice shape. Uh, but there's still some problems with the left with it. Okay? But that's a good move. Hmm? Maybe this was just a demonstration, but was there another black stone? Not yet, I don't think. Or where, where do you think it is? <coughs> Oh, somewhere over here? No. Yeah. Maybe it was just what would happen again. Yeah, I think it was more of a, if we, if we, yeah, if we didn't keep here. So doesn't Jeff's move give him all that territory at the bottom you were saying was good at the two stones at the same time? This isn't territory yet. That's the thing. I mean, they're, first of all, this can be reduced. Right. And second, there's still moves like this. Or more gently, like this. Uh, depending on the Aji here, you know, if we get something over here, then there's moves like this. But it is territory if he's got uh, fourth stone in there before, like a line of four white. Mm -hmm. You know, you're saying if black pushes through and. Um, if that's not territory either, but I'm saying Jeff is spending an extra move here, and black is safe. The difference is, usually in the Skoseki, right, if this were to play out, uh, let's, see. Oh, let's go back. Put pressure. Black plays, white, black, white, black, white, black, white. You see how black hasn't come around here yet? Black is more off in his own little world. So white is actually significantly stronger because these two stones have more liberties. There's a little bit less of a defect here. Uh, in order for black to continue getting out, right, if we push, white's not strong enough to play this. If we play it Jeff's way, and we, before we let black connect here and we come back and um, black's move next, that's a big move. there's still some defects in here. Just because these two stones have one fewer liberties. Black is further getting, or closer to the outside. Remember, white played this to get influence this way and get corner territory. If black already has a free stone here, that influence potential goes way down. That's all I'm saying. It's a minor detail. Here is the shape on the board. All right, so black's move, so black jumps out, right? Again, white was saying, want influence and territory. Black's going to limit that, as well as helping solidify this group. And more importantly, you see these two stones over here? These aren't right place, are they? Yes, they are. Uh, what's wrong with these two stones? Kind of the base. Yeah, no base. And they're against Black's uh, Black should immediately just go after these guys. This is just fun for Black. No base, two stones. If Black can kill this, that's a lot of points. So, Jeff doesn't protect, and I don't know what Black's doing again, but Black decides that this is too huge. Black's going to come over here and try to reduce this right now. Again, this isn't the most important area of the board. Over here, this is the most important area of the board. Just go after this. We'll be able to attack, make points, solidify this, reduce that. Everything, all your hopes and dreams will come true if you can just attack this. 
Remember, if you want to get a whole bunch of just moves for free um, in a game of Go, just attack something. You'll get something for free. It'll just happen. Just don't screw it up. Well, yeah, you can't screw it up. <laughs> but free things will happen. So Black doesn't like free things. Black wants to pay for everything. We'll let him. Jeff takes try six and point over here. That's good. OK, I'll buy it. Black is still worried about this. Bad move for Black. Still, come back. Now is an excellent time to come back and attack. This is nothing. He's trying to make a group, living group here, but there's no points here. The board is too broken up right now to make anything here. If we can attack this, then we can make something here, because we can get some bunch of free stuff on the outside. Without all that free moves, we won't get anything. Uh, oh, I missed White's move. Maybe I did. All right, that's the board. I just, I just played that move, right? Right. Jeff played that move on the lower left to respond to the first black stuff. No, not that one. Oh, let me go right here. Like this. Right. Right. So yeah, here we good. are. Black comes out. White goes down here. Yeah, okay, I, did, I just had the order wrong. Black plays here, then white plays down here. Which one? Yeah, that one. <coughs> oh, I see. Oh, I missed up the order again. Look at me. All right, one more time. You play this side first. Sorry. There we go. Now black plays. Still, attack. Over here now. There we go. And now black play this. Oh, drop. This move. Empty triangle, just for the fun of it. <laughs> this is no good. Let me tell you why this is no good. See what you're doing, and kind of forcing you to protect down. Well, it's really forcing protect down here. <laughs> Jeff plays this and Jeff played over there. I have a second line over there, did he? Just is that his real move? This yeah. is Jeff. <laughs> Jeff, you have to come over here. Look, uh, especially these two black stones here. Yeah. Black is saying, yum. Black right now is thinking, I'm going to eat this whole chunk of the board. Got to work inside. Got to play investment move right now. Let black destroy your corner. Right, as long as he can eat everything, and again, this is still weak, I'll admit. Like, I'd be scared here too, uh, because a move like this, they just threaten to cut you to pieces. So maybe this is, you know, in the end, a good move, because black has some really threatening cuts and slices and dices on this group, in this group. Uh, I still have a move to play. you got to play over here. Uh, but lucky for you, after this, black says, all right, I want to make that yum pie oh bigger. Goodness. Jeff? Oh. Jeff? Jeff? <laughs> Oops, that one. Okay. What are we doing? He's planning to come. Are, are you worried about this? These are your friends. Do you abandon your friends? <laughs> You're mean. <laughs> These are your new friends? This is your. There's a cool kid over there. <laughs> it's, it's big, it's worth a lot of points. <laughs> But man. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I totally lied. Alright. I know at some point. No, no, you did it. I messed up. I can't even play it. This laptop is screwing me up, man. Ha! Ah, laptop. Is that Jeff's laptop you're playing? Or mm -hmm. is this Jeff's laptop? This is Jeff's laptop, and it's really heavy too. <laughs> yeah. Like my arm is just like oh. you work out while you're working. I'm 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 starting to sweat. It's not because you guys are all looking at me, it's because this thing's heavy. All right, sorry. Here we go. This is the actual move. This is what was actually played in the game before this. Bad move for black. Right idea. Wrong, wrong area of the board. Why is this the wrong area of the board? Reminded Jeff of those two stones. Right? Yeah, you're, you remember that, that, that evil villain buzzsaw death hero? We're trying to slowly move in on the hero. Well, the thing is, even with this move here, white, it's not entirely clear that white's going to live yet. I still wouldn't call white safe by any, any measure. But I think black can play something a little more severe. 
So what now plays this? Hooray, we're trying to not die. Our hero is going to spring back to life after we thought he was dead. All right, now we play... That's no, Black's turn. Oh, wait, let's play this. Da, 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 da. I messed up the order again. <laughs> Black's turn. Black's turn, there we are. So big, but I would still worry about this. Three very thin stones. Very thin. So what's the way to fix them? Oh, that's a good way to start. So it moves like this. Basically, if you want to make some shape for yourself, you know how we normally say don't attack to a, attach to a weak stone? Well, if you're the weak stone, you can attach because you'll get some you'll, you'll get something out of it. So I look at these attachment moves. Uh, even something like that would be helpful. Um, this is also a fairly standard move, getting eyes. Although we usually do this in a different position. It's kind of a weird position to play this, but um, I'd probably pick one of these attachments first to see what black does. But definitely something severe that black feels like they have to respond to. I'll try to actually basically make an eye shape and sente here. Because I'm really mean like that. You know, I don't want my opponent to force me to play an extra move and I have to live if I don't have to. I mean like this that your opponent has to respond to. And if your opponent responds really gently like this, well, that's great. Let's go on. It's making lots of points in this big black area. Uh, are the times for you to play that? I take lots of points. But it depends how black responds. Anyway, black comes over here. This move I don't like for black, like at all. What's a good reason why we don't like this move? Yeah, we attached to a weak stone. Now, why was the, why was it okay over here? We were weak. Is black weak over here? No. Not really. That's and in fact, white actually has some thinness in here. Uh, there's actually a little bit of a shape problem in there. If we got an extra move on the outside, someone would be able to throw a stone in there and cause some mischief. So. This one's really helping white quite a bit. Uh, Jeff plays down. I don't like down. If you're going to play, if you're just going to stand, much prefer up. Um, for the following reasons. First of all, you see this stone? You still see this stone? You still see this stone? <laughs> just disappeared. It's now under attack, right? Now, it's still, I mean, this should be able to fight and be okay, but having a move down here isn't going to help this stone. Because then black can play some free moves over here. Something like this, perhaps. You're going to cover, you're going to come underneath. What do you want to do? Right, you want to submit. black in our territory a little bit here, and there's still this cut and defect. All right, black, I'm just messing with white over here because I want to have black get some outside stones for free. So now when I come back and I finish this, I can chase this stone and I have no friends, nowhere to go. So this is still a little problem. It's not too bad because I think white can just play this and get something, but white will definitely get cut and black will make a bunch of points here. So keep in mind, you're not entirely safe on the board yet. It's not just end game at this point. There's still some interesting things going on on the outside. So I'd stand up instead of going down and playing just for pure points. So you said that white group on the right side isn't clearly alive. I mean, can black attack it at this point? Or... So is that yeah, good well, move for black? How do you want to? 12, 18. 12, 18. That's the. Or. Six. Um, you take that. Okay, 
Yeah, that one. Oh, I'm, 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 I think you're okay, right? Because you have enough of an influence on the outside. But what if Black had gone and played a few moves like over here first and actually built a wall here? Your eye shape looks a lot less. I mean, Black can still throw it sort of ruin it, right? Black can sort of force you to run around the board. So this is what I was talking about. Like, Black can still. So when you said you didn't like that black one down there? Yeah, that is happening. They were black should instead attack this white group, or? Um, I would probably want to the board. Let's decide. There, right? I mean, if we're going to play one of these sides, this one actually looks a little bigger. Just because, first of all, there's more of a space, there's more, there's more space here. And second, if white doesn't respond, then we get moves like this. Maybe we can make some magic happen. Uh, or definitely moves like this. We can expand our territory. Or we can even take the outside. If we get the outside, you know, now this stuff looks nice, right? We've made a little net. I'm going to chase a big fish. So I would try to find a move that isn't just trying to take the corner, or again, even stuff like this. This is also bigger. I think black is playing this because black's re this shamari is too big and white still might be able to invade it. So he's trying to defend it in something like the sente. Uh, but I think there's other ways to defend it, like attacking this stone. Or attacking this group. Lots of ways. Anyway, white came down. Oh, we hold on, let's back up. Right here. Black played this move. We're trying to make a little bit of that net we were talking about. The problem is this move doesn't actually threaten anything. And we keep, we have to, if, if we want to make a net, right, we have to go set up the net and then come back and attack this. Well, if while I'm making the net, my opponent gets to do everything that my opponent wants to do while I'm still making the net to catch our big fish, this never works. So not helpful. Black's maybe thinking he'll get points here, but this is so kind of thin, not guaranteed yet. Jeff, you play here. I like it. Uh, Black decides it's time to play endgame. If I were you, I'd fix that right now. Let Black keep the corner. Fix the shape so you can get in here and ruin this if black it's ever gets enough potential in here to do something. Uh, black plays here. Or white plays there, excuse me. Hey, you left white, that's just fine. Thank you. That's important. And now black decides that this corner is bigger than his sente move over here, right? Because if black connects, he can still eat this. So he decides to go back and defend down there. So he's actually making your block, low block look really good. Come on top? No, 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 no. <laughs> this is at the head of two stones. Yeah, we normally like that, right? What's the problem here? Big. When Black plays this, what are you going to do? Go back and fix it. You're going to fix it again, right? Mm -hmm. But now, Black's more or less fixed his corner, and you still didn't go to him. If you don't want to let Black fix his corner, just play this. Now, if he wants to fix the junk, the, the crappy moves down here, he has to still have to move to fix this. And now it's your move. So this, you're actually giving your opponent, I mean, you know Hani at the head of two stones, right? That's a good proverb. I don't think this is a good case for it. Because you're going to, let's see what you did. Oh, that's exactly the game. I totally called this one. <laughs> <laughs> And then black can be, right? Because he's done fixing. So this is a this is a you know this is a very subtle example. And you have to sort of just trust me and say that there's stuff down here. There's tricks and things that white can do to get stuff. But when you have to defend these two stones, we just say honey the head of two stones. Except one we shouldn't. Like in this case where white's 
white uh, black fix. I'm just throwing stuff everywhere. And we still end in Gote. We don't want that. Worst case, if you just want to fix, good. We can still throw in the stones down here. So like this, or like this, that doesn't quite work with that stone, probably need that one first. So we can do things. Okay, anyway, this is the game. And what's new heat over here? Yeah, a little bit of pressure. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. All right, let's see it. Yep, black's going to Atari. White comes back. Black kills a stone. Good for black. Gray, black. I don't like this. Yeah, great result for white. Black kind of got tricked here. Actually, black tricked himself, right? Let's go back. When he plays this move, this isn't where he should play. He's got to find something more severe. What this? That sucks. <laughs> no, they're still fine. I mean, it's actually, if you just come down, I mean, this is only a little bit better. This isn't even a whole lot better. It's only a little bit better for black. Um, but then he comes here. I guess this is kind of pro this game. Then let's not do that. Let's do. Yeah, it's even not that much better. Hmm. All right. 
right, let's try the attached here. Which side? Uh, under. You have to play this, right? Yeah. yeah. something over here. Twice in a row. You got the fever. But I, I don't understand what Black's doing. Like, he has to cut, right? He wants to do anything over here. He just plays this, lets you connect, and plays over. Move. This is no good, right? This is does nothing. It looked like he's trying to keep me from busting into this little circle. Man. Yeah, but now you have this? Yeah. <laughs> like, you're in. Or even you can play this first to make sure you have an eye space. Uh, anyway, you play this. This looks bad. Black's going to be able to see all this in now for free. If you want to play move over here, again, whoops. Probably take one of these Hanes. That's fine too. You can still attach. This one leaves like a defect that every 32 is going to find. <laughs> and he found it. And he found it. <laughs> Unfortunately, he then plays this. That's not good enough. Much more interesting. Play this way. This move, do you see this cut here? threatens this cut. So now he's sealed this off from this way, from this side, and threatened to cut this stone. So if he wanted to send this stone over here, he now has time to come back and play a move like this. Or even cut this before suited 
to defend. That's probably better. Yeah, because now if you don't come back and defend with a move like this, even if you do, now you get something to defend. <coughs> so and it's all because you left a cut in here. I mean, you don't want to get cut. Now, if you want to get cut here, that's fine too, and then you can bust in the middle. But then we'll get cut off, and then we'll get other free moves like over here. He doesn't do any of that. He plays this move. Terrible. Then you fix your cut. Good. Uh, right. All right. I don't want to go too much further in this game. Let's get someone else's. All right. Let me fast forward here and just sort of see what happens. Basically, it looks like you end up getting all this. He does get some of this. He doesn't get all of it, but he does get a fair chunk. White gets all this. Black gets all this. White gets all this. Black ends up with a very small corner over here. Um, which I'm not sure. Someone, these two stones die. Wow. <laughs> this group lives on a majestic scale. So who wins? I didn't. Yeah. Yep, looking by quite a bit in the end. So, yeah, what do we learn? Put this thing down. <laughs> feel strong? Hmm? Feel stronger? I do feel stronger. <laughs> so what do we learn? Uh, I'm leaving things open to attack when I don't think I am. <laughs> yeah, number one, this, this was play the game. Yep. If he starts attacking this group with any sort of success, you are just in trouble. You are just running without a place to go. Um, second, he played a lot of moves in the middle that are wasted. He wasted another move to come back and make life over here. Um, this is a cool little subtle detail, right? Often we, we want to play a cutting move or a really severe move. We, and it's in Gote for us, and it allows our opponent to play shape. We have to be very careful. Often you'll see professionals make, you know, spend 30 minutes, especially in Japanese you know, championship games, on a move that looks like this, and then they'll be looking at some corner, and they'll play a move like this. And it looks like it's the most boring, most solid, most <laughs> terrible move in the world. But they spend so much time on it, right? And it's because they're realizing, well, if I just play this one move, I'm nice and solid. And they're not thinking about just playing this, right? They're thinking about all now the things I can do to this corner. Right? This move allows them to do what this move would. Or what, you know, what's the difference? What's gained? Would so a move like that be called Hante? Um, hante usually means proper. It could be, yeah, Hante has more to do with shape, per se, but sure, often that type of move would be Hante. <coughs> but hante, our, hante has kind of lost a lot of meaning, I think, recently in the last few years. Our, our president's um, website is uh, hante.org. Ah, very good. Uh, but you know, these are often very slow looking, very good shaped moves that let you do a whole lots of other things that don't leave a weakness. The other thing that this move does, it also ends in Gote for you, right? But now you have a weakness. Later on, Black is going to get a free move. Yeah. So why, why didn't we just play this one? No free move. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, this was interesting. Don't. This is a really important peak that you shouldn't have taken, okay. right? Because that cut. Um, there's a proverb saying, you know, whenever there's a cut, don't peep. It's not, it's not a good proverb to follow, but I mean, it's a proverb. Um, basically, means that even if you just play the cut, even if you just die, often you can get more from it than peeping. Okay. That I doesn't think, work with all I was cuts. Trying to think of, uh, Trying to make sure you connected all the pieces. I don't know how many had at the bottom of the time. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, the two stones with the two yeah. stones. I want to make sure you. Yeah, but if you, if you want to make sure. You saw the sequence where we cut, right? And then he has to capture the two stones, and then he has to look at all the free moves. He still has to stay sure he's connected. Right. But you get lots and lots of free moves just by cutting and throwing in an extra stone. Um, actually, that's worth pointing out one last time here. This is the situation, right? You have a stone here, he's got the corner up here. And 
black plays this, this is a good cut later, especially if you have a high here. Right? He doesn't have a lot of liberties to work with. He's very cramped. If we play this right away, this gets just crazy complicated. I uh, can't remember what book I read this in. There was one book that, I don't know, at least 15, 16 pages just devoted to this type of shape. <laughs> crazy complicated. Especially here. Uh, huge fight. If white has any stone on the outside, white just, just annihilates black. Right now, I think black is fine. But very complicated, right? Weakness, 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 weakness. Hard, really hard. Uh, but even then, white can actually just submit and you know, be okay. Actually, submitting kind of looks bad, doesn't it? I don't submit, but if you don't want to take this cut, take this cut. What are you going to do, Black? Try something. Someone try something. Take the other weakness, cut in the corner. Here? Uh, right there, yeah. Okay. Very extends. It's hard. <laughs> this is hard. I don't know what to do. I think you have to go after that cutting stone pretty fast. This one? Yeah. yeah I mean, this is time's running out, right? Yeah. This thing is one free move. It's game over. So we have to go after it this way or this way? Well, I know I can kill it if I go that way. Good, because this way it doesn't die. In fact, it's painful. Although, if we go this way, we might be able to sacrifice this to get something on the outside here. So there's that possibility, but. Yeah, let's go this way. And have to go this way, right? Uh, white fixes this right now. Uh, kill, right? Yeah, that's one way to do it. Kind of wondering now. Uh, I really want white to get this moving. I'm not sure if white has time. Now. Here. And the question is, if black pushes and cuts here, what can black get out of this? Well, black can't extend, right, because there just has to come back, so I don't think there's any push and cut. And, and next move's hard for white, too. That cutting kind of stone, yeah. let's go with that cut. But if white can be okay, and that is kind of a big if. Black is four points. White gets a big corner, all outside. Randor cuts, but I mean, it's looking it's just amazing for white right now. Because black can push down on that lower right side. This one? No, no, I was thinking of just um, ataring the white stone that's. Um, turning back. Alright. Just fix the shape. Now this is looking very solid and white. Yeah. Kind of get this move. And then white just captures this. This is dead, right? So that's kind of wall here effectively. This stone does have some eye black and running out. But there is nothing over here. This is a hard stone to run. This and black's just running this way for no good reason. And white will just follow. Uh, probably not that. Probably just, uh, I don't know. Play move. Something. So, anyway, I don't know. I like white a lot here. This is a great result. So, that, anyway, this all came from the point of if you have weak stones and you have a cutting point. Probably should look at the cut first rather than keep, even if it's a sacrifice. There's stuff in it. All right, thank you, Jeff.